All right, you little thinkers. How do we make this side look like this side? Actually, other way. How do we make this side look like this side? Okay. Uh, now, I'm hoping that you guys saw really quickly that on this side, this one right here, you guys can rewrite this to put that 2x plus 4 on top. All right? Did you guys see that? Okay. And so if he goes on top, I mean, this is one way to do it. There's another way to think about it. Uh, if he goes on top, how do I make him into x plus 2? Because our denominator is already the same. We're good with our denominator, right? So what would I put right here? What would I multiply to this to make uh, the 2x and the 4 change? Yeah, one half. One half it is. Okay. And some of you guys are tripping out over that. Don't trip out. Watch this. Okay. Uh, numerator, denominator, okay, can't cross cancel there. Uh, n denominator and numerator, can I cross cancel there? Yeah. Yes, I could take a two out of this guy. It'd be two X plus two. And then these twos would cancel out, they'd be gone. And so the answer is one half. There's also another way to look at it though. Some of you guys might've saw it this way first, but then you second guessed yourself. Actually, I was listening to somebody that did that. Um, so I'm gonna rewrite the order. I'm going to put my parentheses, and then I'm going to put 2x plus 4 right here. And then I'll put that nasty big old fraction. 1 over x squared plus 4x minus 3. Boom. Okay, so boom. Now, I know this guy's going to go up top if when I multiply him to the fraction, like so. Like you just multiply it straight across. Okay, but before I do that, I can multiply him by something over here first. 1 half. 1 half times 2x and 1 half times 4 would give me what I want, x plus 2. And then I can multiply that to the fraction, and then I would get the same thing as what we have on the left side. So two ways to think about it. Kind of weird that there's two ways, but it's not that weird if you love math. Um, and that's it. The answer is 1 half.